So in today's video, we are going to be simulating throughout an entire NBA season where each team in the league has the opportunity to acquire the highest rated player on each team they beat. Now, just to give an example of how this will work, let's say the Sacramento Kings and Boston Celtics face off against one another during the first game of the season. And after simulating throughout this matchup, the Kings managed to slip by and win by only two points. At this point, the Kings would then be allowed to trade their lowest rated player in exchange for the Celtics highest rated player and then form a super team with De'Aaron Fox, DeMontis Sabonis, and Jason Tate. Them. And after simulating through a shortened version of the regular season, we will go on to the playoffs and see which super teams will face off against one another in the NBA Finals. Now originally I was going to have it to where only I could trade for players after I beat a team, but I think that would have just been really boring because imagine we had a guy like Giannis on the squad and we beat the team that was employing Luka. That would make our team almost unbeatable off rip. Instead, I have it to where we're going to be doing a fantasy draft and we're just going to witness the absolute anarchy that some of these teams will unleash. And since I'm not controlling just one team, I'm going to simulate throughout the entire fantasy draft. And then we're going to take a look at all the rosters and see who's on which team. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie, the schedule looks really weird as of right now because we are only playing 14 games per team. And taking a look at the Philadelphia 76 Sixers, they managed to retain Joel Embiid, which I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of funny that they managed to grab him yet again. But uh, let's see the. Why did the Bucks have Giannis? Okay, never mind. I, I just had to double check that the Bulls like got a completely different player than normal because not only does Philadelphia still have Embiid, but the Bucks still have Giannis somehow. I don't know. I don't even understand how this could have happened. Jimmy Butler is back again on the Chicago Bulls. Luka made his way on to Cleveland. How about the Bucks? Wow, the Boston Celtics have LeBron James. My Clippers have Trey Young and DeJounte Murray, so we're pretty much just the Atlanta Hawks, but the 2.0 version. Anthony Davis is a part of the Memphis Grizzlies alongside Julius Randle. Devin Booker's on the Hawks. And Kawhi Leonard made his way to the Miami Heat, which is kind of weird because in the first thumbnail that I made for this video, that's the team that I photoshopped him on. Jamal Murray's on the Charlotte Hornets. The Utah Jazz have Kyrie Irving and Tyrese Maxey. Almost just dropped my controller. They also have Mitchell Robinson. I kind of like this team, but I mean, they're, they're not really going to be dominant. They're more than likely going to lose Kyrie and Tyrese Maxey really quick. Paulo Boncaro is on the Sacramento Kings. New York has John Morant and Jared Jackson Jr. There's been a lot of repeats for all these teams, like players that have played together in real life somehow end up being on the same team in this fantasy draft. Uh, Paul George and Pascal Siakam are in LA. They also have Chris Paul on the team as well, but uh, Zion has made his way over to the Orlando Magic. And the Dallas Mavericks have Victor Wimbanyama and James Harden. That's a really nice duo. Jalen Brunson is still in New York technically, but this time playing with the Brooklyn Nets. Jason Tatum's a part of the Denver Nuggets alongside Darius Garland and and Donovan Mitchell is, wow. Why do we keep getting repeats in this video? But Shea Gilders Alexander and Mikhail Bridges are playing for New Orleans. The Detroit Pistons have Tyrese Halliburton and Tyler Hero. The Toronto Raptors have Kevin Durant, Nicholas Claxton, and Drew Holiday. If I had to go out on a limb here, I'm gonna say that this team is gonna be pretty solid. They'll more than likely pick up a couple of superstars. And the Houston Rockets have Nikola Jokic, CJ McCollum, and Zach Levine. And the San Antonio Spurs have Stephen Curry, Jared Allen, and Jalen Williams. I can imagine San Antonio becoming one of those teams to watch out for but uh Shet Holmgren and Brandon Ingram with Jaden Ivey on the Phoenix Suns De'Aaron Fox Sangoon and OKC Dame Time has made his way to Minnesota alongside Scotty Barnes and Lamella Ball and Bam Adebayo are paired up together in Portland Anthony Edwards and DeMar DeRozan are playing together for the first time in their career in Golden State and last but not least we have Jalen Brown and Carl Anthony Towns in Washington now the first thing that we need to check is which teams are playing which and who's playing first and if I click on this matchup it looks like the Boston Celtics are playing the Brooklyn Nets now, uh, depending on who wins this game, we could either see LeBron James make his way to Brooklyn or Jalen Brunson make his way to Boston. And after taking a look at the matchup, I would say that the Celtics are definitely the favorites to win this. It's looking like this game's going to be super close, but I'm pretty excited to see Jalen Brunson in Boston. But yeah, that's definitely going to be the pairing that we're going to end up with. Jalen Brunson had 29 points, four rebounds and four assists, but it wasn't enough. Now he's a Boston Celtic and shout out to Dylan Brooks for leading the team in scoring with only 11 shots and he also ended up with 26 points. I guess I can't really be too surprised that LeBron, you know, didn't go crazy since he's almost like 40 years old. And speaking of LeBron James, you should go check out my most recent video where we put him on the Golden State Warriors. But of course, you should go watch that after you finish this one. But uh, you know what? Let's have a look and see who we have up next. It looks like it's going to be the Atlanta Hawks and Milwaukee Bucks. This one's going to be very, very interesting because if Atlanta actually does pull out with a W, they're going to have Devin Booker and Giannis and Teddy kumpo as their big two but 
But if Devin Booker falls short and loses this game, he's going to be heading to Milwaukee to play alongside Kay Cunningham. And well, I guess he'd still be playing with Giannis either way. And I'm not going to lie. I think Atlanta actually does have the edge over Milwaukee as far as rosters are concerned. And uh, it does look like Atlanta did pull out with the W. So we're going to have to trade Giannis over to Atlanta. Devin Booker dropped 42 points, nine rebounds and five assists. He balled out. It's almost like he knew that this was going to happen if, you know, he won this game. And there you go. Just like that, we have Giannis and Tedekumpo alongside Devin Booker. Derek White. And you know, I don't really know how interested you guys are going to be in all of these matchups. But you know what? I'm not going to bore you guys too much and show you every single game that I have to make trades for. So I'll be back in a couple of seconds whenever things are a lot different. Okay, so uh, yeah, as you can see, I just simulated all the way to the trade deadline. I've made all the trades. This is already taking forever. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at the rosters. I'm not even going to talk about the teams that, you know, like the Milwaukee Bucks who have nothing but like 70 overalls. I want to shed some light on the really, really, really great teams. As you can see, this one has Luka Doncic, Kevin Durant, Nicholas Claxton, and Rudy Gobert. Not only that, but they're like full of 80 plus overalls. At some point, this team did have Joel Embiid, but uh, another team just so happened to beat Cleveland at some point. And if I do remember correctly, we'll more than likely see that team here shortly but uh the utah jazz they are looking really really nice they have shea gilgis alexander paul george anthony edwards tyrese maxi alpernan sagoon dejounte murray demar derozan mitchell robinson i mean this this team's really good they're they're really really good they might be the best team in the west i'm not 100 sure who's better than them but there might be at least one and on to the next team we have sacramento and yeah here we go Joel Embiid, a part of the new york knicks with lebron james john morant tyrese halliburton donovan mitchell Jamal Murray, Jaron Jackson Jr. I mean, this whole team is just stacked. They also have guys like Clay Thompson, and they only have a couple of 70 overalls. And I mean, within a couple of games, they'll just be full of nothing but 80s. But anyway, on to the next team, we have the Los Angeles Lakers. So uh, this team might actually be the best in the West. They have Jason Tatum, Anthony Davis, and Damian Lillard. And I didn't even mention Pascal Siakam or Paulo Boncaro. I'm pretty sure there's a couple more teams that are great. And yeah, here we have the Indiana Pacers with Giannis and Teddy. Kumpo, Kawhi Leonard, Jalen Brown, Evan Mopley, and Laurie Markinen. I mean, here soon, this could very much be the best team in the East. Uh, I, I mean, it's going to be pretty hard to compete with New York, but Indiana probably does have the best chance out of everybody. And uh, oh yeah, the OKC Thunder with Nikola Jokic, Stephen Curry, James Harden, and Julius Randle. At one point or another, the Houston Rockets had Jokic and Curry, but in somehow, some way, the OKC Thunder managed to get both of them. But uh, anyway, the Tim Timberwolves have Victor Wembanyama, Scotty Barnes, and Brandon Ingram. Portland is here with uh, a bunch of bums, really. And the Washington Wizards have Zion, Jalen Brunson, Carl Anthony Towns, and Drew Holiday. And if we go to the All-Star game, this is really what the NBA Finals is going to look like. But you know what? I'm just going to simulate to the playoffs, and I will see you guys when I get there. At the end of the NBA season, it looks like Luka still managed to pull out with an MVP. And as you can see, he's a part of the Indiana Pacers. Uh, he went from Cleveland to Miami all the way over to Indy. And it looks like he hasn't even played a game with the Pacers just yet. But Victor Wimbanyama made his way over to the Los Angeles Lakers. Kelly Olenek is sixth man of the year. DPOY also goes to Wimby. The number one seed in the East were the New York Knicks, followed by the Cleveland Cavaliers and Indiana Pacers. The Washington Wizards also won 10 games alongside Miami. And in the West, we have the Los Angeles Lakers, OKC Thunder, Utah Jazz, and Houston Rockets. The New Orleans Pelicans, I'm pretty sure they were good for a very long time, but I don't think they have a great roster anymore. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and simulate to the second round because there is a lot of uh, really bad teams here for our very first matchup of the second round we have the okc thunder who have stephen curry shea gilgis alexander trey murphy julius randall nikola Jokic. those guys are going up against the utah jazz who have tyrese maxi anthony edwards paul george demar derozan and aparnan sangoon this is a really nice matchup i'm really excited to see where this goes but i definitely think that las vegas would more than likely favor the okc thunder just because of you know how stacked they are and up next we have probably one of the most lethal matchups that we could have ever had and after comparing both rosters i mean i really don't know who this is going to go to but since i'm from indiana i'm just going to say that the pacers are more than likely going to win this and heading over back to the west we have the los angeles lakers going up against the new orleans pelicans now i know you can't see them on here but do remember that this lakers team does have victor Wembanyama, and that just goes to show how nice this team is because they have one of the greatest rookies of all time 
time on the bench he's not even getting starter minutes so uh i don't really think the pelicans stand a chance and that's mainly due to the fact that they got a little worse after losing shea and a couple of other all-time greats but going over back to the east we have the new york knicks facing off against the miami heat do i even have to say who i think is going to win this game because i think the answer is already pretty clear and in game number one who's it going to go to miami is up big time in the fourth and it looks like they're actually going to upset new york in game number one k cunningham had 28 points one rebound and seven assists meanwhile john morant had 22 four and five they lost by like a really wide margin so i'm really surprised to see that but you know what let me just simulate to the conference finals and the cleveland cavaliers have been eliminated shortly followed by the new orleans pelicans miami heat is no more and the utah jazz just got pushed out of the playoffs but this series went to seven games and as you could see oh man i wish we could have watched this one because it went down to the wire in overtime the okc thunder only pulled out by one point that's kind of absurd but in the east we have the new york knicks facing off against the indiana pacers uh this matchup was very much expected but anyways in the west we have okc facing off against la and as of right now it's not looking too great for okc but i mean i can't really blame them for losing because this los angeles lakers team is just like far more superior and something i just realized they not only have victor Wimbanyama, but shet holmgren is also a part of the roster i can't imagine anybody is really scoring on these guys because keep in mind anthony davis is still on the team as well so you can only imagine that their defense is really good but you know what let me just simulate through a couple of games and if there's a game seven we'll hop in and watch it but it looks like the new york knicks just got eliminated that's kind of surprising and in the west will we have a game seven no we won't the los angeles lakers have been eliminated i can't believe okc just pulled that off but anyways finals mvp goes to shea and uh eastern conference finals mvp goes off to luca and man oh man this is a battle for the ages because as we know the indiana pacers have mvp luca Doncic, and uh looking at the roster everyone a part of the starting five perfectly complements his game but i'm really excited to see who this championship goes to so let me go ahead and sim cast and see who we can have as our victor and in game number one it's not even close the okc thunder won by nearly 40 points Jay gilgis had 28 7 and 15 and 5 but on game number two this one is looking far closer than ever indiana is only up by six with three minutes left to go okay see so starting to creep back into the game we might have to jump in here because as you can see there's 19 seconds to go and the score is 113 to 113 all right okay so he does have the ball do they give it off to steph or shea it looks like it's going back to shea and he's wearing number 22 so that's kind of weird but here comes curry spoiler alert for the last video but he was insanely clutch whenever we jumped into one of these games here comes a screen by nikola Jokic. is he going to use it he has three seconds left to go he needs to get a shot off and here it goes and <laughs> He just made another game winner. Oh my god, what? This might be the greatest player in my channel's history because how did he just hit two game winners back to back well things are not looking too good for indiana but i think they do have enough time to get at least one shot off and here it goes from luka Doncic, and that shot is good as well what the f i don't even know if he had time to get that shot off but let's see there's 0.1 seconds left and does it get off his hands i can't tell i really can't tell that's a super super close and let's see it no the shot was no good are you serious hey man if you're from indiana like me you already know that kind of hurt a little but maybe they can bounce back in game three if they do lose this they'll go down three to nothing there's one second left i'm gonna hop in just in case anything crazy is happening and uh it does look like indiana has possession of the basketball so as long as they don't lose it they should be okay and they need to pass it off to somebody really quick here goes the hero and yeah the game is over they really needed that one because if they were going to go down 3-0 i don't even know if there was even a chance of them coming back this one's looking close yet again but indiana did pull away in the fourth quarter winning by um six eight points they won by eight points i can do simple math jay gilgis had 24 and 9 meanwhile nikola Jokic had 19 and 13 nice little double double from the big man and in game number five it looks like the okc thunder win it stephen curry had 32 points three rebounds and 14 assists luca led the way for for his team but it just wasn't enough he had 35 points seven rebounds and seven assists and it looks like the pacers were leading the way for a while there okc brings it back it looks like we might have brand new nba champions but uh there's four seconds left to go and okc's up by only three points and okay as long as indiana can get a quick foul off and they can miss some free throws or steal the ball they will be okay but here we go bam out of they gave the ball to bam in the clutch are these guys crazy but here we go there goes the first one and it is good they are up by 
four points with three seconds left to go. Bradley Bill just checked in, but it might be too late for the Pacers. And he did miss the second. They need to call a timeout, but they won't do it. Luka Doncic throws it up full court and he hits it. Of course he hits it. Luka hits every single shot. And well, there you have it. The Oklahoma City Thunder are your new NBA champions. I um I definitely did not expect this. I thought for sure it was going to go to Cleveland or New York. But you know what? Let's see who wins finals MVP. This team is absolutely stacked. So it could really go to anybody. But I would assume it's going to end up in Stephen Curry's hands just because of that game winner. But I don't really know how much 2K factors that in. See, yep, there it is. Stephen Curry is your finals MVP. Nikola Jokic, Shea, and Stephen Curry all came down together in game six they all had monster nights putting up 30 points a piece with the exception of stephen curry who had 27 and 12 and well that's going to do it for today's video if you want to see more content from me go check out my latest upload where we put lebron james on the golden state warriors and yeah shout out to you guys for watching this video i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out